and welcome here on SF17 But in this game between the Spanish Fork Dons and the Tooele Buffaloes, a battle between the number one and number two teams in the state of Utah. And the pitcher today for the Lady Dons is Jordan Bate. Jordan Bate getting ahead of 0-2 before throwing a ball there to the leadoff hitter for this Tooele Buffaloes team, number 16, the shortstop, Matty Baker. And again, a pitch up will bring the count to two and two. The two and two coming now to Baker from Jordan Bate. And that is strike three looking to Matty Baker for the first out here in the top of the first. The lineup today for the Buffaloes is as follows. Matty Baker, the shortstop, will be leading off. At the plate now is Briarly Avina. She'll be followed by Amber Lujan. Then Peyton Hammond will be batting fourth. Emma Jackson fifth. Blake Hervat sixth. Jenna Goins will be the designated player batting sixth. That pitch is fouled off by Avina, bringing the count to 0-1. Batting seventh is Jenna Goins, the designated player. Batting eighth will be... McKenna Baker and batting ninth will be the second baseman Mercy Derica and they will have the tough task of facing the Lady Dons ace Jordan Bate Bate with the strikeout to the leadoff hitter looking Maddie Baker that pitch upstairs bringing the count to one and one on Avena now And a ball upstairs will bring the count to two and one on Avena. And a swing and a miss will bring the count even to two and two now. The pitcher today, Bate, is the ace of the staff for this Don's team in 16 appearances. She is 13 and 0 with a 1.25 ERA. She has pitched seven strikeouts on the season and has four no-hitters, including a no-hitter earlier in this playoffs against the King and View Falcons, and that is strike three for out number two here in the top of the first. Bate on the season, by far the most used pitcher, pitching 78 and a third innings, giving up only 14 earned runs while striking out 128 batters to go along with nine walks, and the hitter at the plate will be the three hitter in this Buffalo's lineup Amber Lujan Lujan is the left fielder for this Buffalo's team as she takes that pitch inside for ball one and that pitch is just outside bringing the count to 2-0 and oh. both of these teams are surprised to be in this situation today Coming into the year, the top two teams in the state of Utah entering this tournament. Not just including 5A and 6A, they are the number one and number two teams in the entire state of Utah here in the 4A, but in also in the state. Spanish Fork number 16 in the nation right now in the excellent 25 rankings, having won three straight national championships. Started off this tournament strong, beating the King and View Falcons 18-1. As that pitch is fouled back, bringing the count to a two and two. Then beating the Ridgeline Riverhawks 10-2 before falling yesterday in a surprise defeat 2-1 to Cedar City, dropping them into the loser's bracket. But the Dons bouncing back nicely this morning with a 12-0 win in five innings over the Desert Hills Thunder. As that pitch is fouled back, bringing the count to two and two. Willa on the flip side of things also having a very impressive year 25 sorry 26 2 and 1 the one tie but 26 and 2 overall basically on the year very very impressive record from this Buffalo squad as they are a fellow one seed in this tournament both of them surprised to be here to Willa winning the game earlier today against Lehigh by a final score of eight to three in that loser's bracket game. Tooele fell 
Tula won their opener 10 no 10 nothing over Logan. Then they beat Desert Hills 10 to 4 before falling yesterday afternoon to another fellow one seed Bear River 8 to 4. But like I said, a nice bounce back win for the Buffaloes earlier today, winning 8 3 over the Lehigh Pioneers. And that pitch is fouled back as the count will stay even at 2-2 two two on Amber Lujan. Hey, Amber. The winner of this game will advance to tomorrow where we will have another game live here on SF17 should Spanish Fork advance. The winner of this one will play the loser of Cedar City Bear River. The winner of the Cedar City Bear River game will move into that championship bracket with the winner of this one playing the loser of that one tomorrow morning for a shot to go to the championship. And that pitch is up, bringing the count even at three and two on Lujan. Lujan, nice patient approach here at the plate, working the count full on bait. Bait, as I mentioned earlier, a very impressive 1.25 ERA, and that ball is slapped over to the left side for a base hit that will get by the shortstop, Gabby Beckstrom, as that ball was absolutely smoked over there. A two-out single for Lujan here in the top of the first, and that will bring up the very dangerous Buffalo's third baseman, Peyton Hammond. Now up for Twilla, number six, Peyton Hammond. Peyton Hammond on the year is a 5-14 hitter with nine home runs leading this Tooele team. The most dangerous hitter on this team, and you gotta be careful to keep her in the park as that ball is absolutely smashed out to left field and deep, but it'll come up just short and a nice catch out there by Trinity Benson. And the Lady Dons dodge a bullet here in the top of the first. No runs on one hit, one runner left on base. And as we head now to the bottom of the first, it's Spanish Fork Don zero, Buffalo zero. And we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors for today's game as we head to the bottom half, the Tony Basso Auto Group, Dickerson Automotive, Lance Wilson State Farm, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Mikkel Christiansen Wise, Attorneys at Law, MVP Sports, and Two Jacks Pizza. Well, after a strong start for the Dons, in the top of the first in this battle of the top two teams in the state of Utah among all Utah softball teams at any level, the Dons bats will get a chance to improve on their showing this morning which was a, a dominant effort three home runs hit a 12-1 win by run rule after five innings over the Desert Hills Thunder and the lineup for the Dons today will be as follows leading off for the Dons will be the third baseman Mallory Barber followed by the shortstop Gabby Beckstrom then the pitcher Jordan Bate will bat third Briley Rudd the catcher will bat fourth in the cleanup hole Bait and Rudd, that dangerous 3-4 combo. And then Aislinn Sharp, the junior second baseman, will bat fifth. Lindsey Smith, the right fielder, will bat sixth. Murray Condi will bat seventh. Amanda Mitchell, eighth. And Trinity Benson will round out the lineup against the pitcher for the Buffaloes today, which will be Atlin Johnson. Atlin, a very dangerous pitcher for this Buffalo's team so far this year will have a tough lineup to face as Barber, Beckstrom, and Bate will be the first three hitters today. Johnson on the year is the most used pitcher for this Buffalo staff as that pitch is fouled off to the right side, bringing the count to 0-1. Johnson has 21 appearances on the year. To put that into perspective, the Next most on the team is 10, and following that is two. So really only two pitchers used on this staff. Johnston, a freshman. The ace, a really impressive story for this freshman who it is rare to see get so much playing time for a freshman, but she has earned every bit of it as that pitch is inside, bringing the count to one and one. Johnston on the year in 21 appearances has a 1.68 ERA and a 4-0 record as that pitch is low for ball two. 
He's also thrown 91 and two-thirds innings pitch, giving up 22 earned runs while striking out 151 batters and only walking 30. As that pitch catches the corner to bring the count even at 2-2 two and two on Barber. Johnson, those 151 strikeouts to 30 walks is a 5, a little better than 5-1 to one strikeout to watch, walk ratio, a very impressive number. As that pitch is inside, and it clips Barber, and she will head down to first, just catching her on the foot. And that is a leadoff base runner for the Dons here in the bottom of the first. And that will bring up the senior shortstop, Gabby Beckstrom. Next up, number 17, Gabby Beckstrom. Beckstrom on the year is a 562 hitter with 41 hits. Does a really good job of setting the table for the big bats of Bate and Rudd that will be coming up next. And a leadoff strike to Beckstrom here. Atlin Johnson doing a nice job of working ahead on this batter. As that pitch is low and in the dirt, and that will allow Barber to move over to second base on the wild pitch. And the Dons quickly have a runner in scoring position here in the bottom half. It is a beautiful day at the ballpark here at Don Andrews Field. Don Andrews Field, home of the Lady Dons here in Spanish Fork, as that bunt is fouled back. The bunt attempt off the bat of Beckstrom will bring the count even. Excuse me, we'll bring the count to one and two now on Beckstrom. And that pitch is driven up the middle and a nice play by the second baseman, Mercy DeRica, ranging back to her right and catching that ball for the first out of the inning here in the bottom of the first. Barber will stay on second, Beckstrom Recording the out, and that will bring up the senior pitcher, Jordan Bate. Number two, pitcher Jordan Bate. And strike one to Bate there. As that pitch is low and outside, bringing the count to one and one. The defensive orientation for the Buffaloes today from left to right in the outfield will be Amber Lujan in left, Breerly Avina in center, and McKenna Baker in right. As that pitch catches the corner, bringing the count to one and two now. And then on the infield from left to right, Peyton Hammond will be playing third, Maddie Baker at short, Mercy DeRica as we some moment ago playing second with a nice catch over there to retire Beckstrom as that pitch is swung on for strike three but she will reach first base and on a wild throw into the outfield that will allow Mallory Barber to come in and score so a little bit of a lucky break for the Buffaloes and a lucky break for the Dons excuse me as they are able to score a run on the strikeout there Barber coming all the way in from second you expect her to be able to move over to third on that but with that being strike three, a little bit of a, a bad swing there by Bate, but able to reach on the strikeout. Bate on first now, Mallory Barber in to score, and the Dons are up one nothing here already in the bottom of the first inning. Next batter, number 10, catcher Briley Rudd. And Briley Rudd, the junior catcher at the plate now for the Lady Dons. As she takes the ball one low, and that gets by the catcher as well. And that will allow Bate to be able to move over to second. And a little bit of sloppy play by the Buffaloes here early in this one, allowing runners to move up as Blake Hervat, the catcher for Tooele, unable to make that play, as I was mentioning, going around the defense. The first baseman for the Buffaloes today is Emma Jackson, and then behind the plate will be Blake Hervat with Atlin Johnson on the mound. So that is the defensive orientation for the Buffaloes in today's game. 
as that is a beautiful strike on the inside corner to Rudd to start off this at bat. The 1-1 one, one coming now to Rudd with Bate on second. One run already coming in to score this inning. And a swing and a miss there as Rudd falls behind quickly, one and two. Mallory Barber getting hit by a pitch to lead off this inning, able to move over to second on the wild pitch and come around to score on a, another wild pitch and the strikeout. Bates striking out but able to reach on the play. They threw the ball over into right field trying to throw her out at first and that allowed Barber to come around and score as that pitch is fouled off the bat of Rudd and that will keep the count at one and two now. And that pitch is fouled off to the right side. And that ball is skied over to the right side and the second baseman camps under it. And a nice play over there by Mercy Dereika, her second put out of the inning. And there are two outs now here in the bottom of the first. And with two outs now, Jordan Bate on second base, still one run already in. And the junior second baseman, Aislinn Sharp stepping up to the plate. And she swings and misses on the fastball. As once again, a nice job by Atlin Johnson getting ahead early. And that pitch is up and away, bringing the count to one and one now. Aislin, one of the many junior starters on the roster today. As she takes that for a strike, and that means that next year the Dons Lady Dons have a promising future as well as Rudd, Sharp. Rudd, who just batted a junior. Sharp now batting a junior. And the next three hitters, Smith, Condi, and Mitchell, all juniors as well, followed by a freshman, Benson. So six of the nine players in this lineup will be returning. The top of the lineup will be missed as the one, two, three hitters of Barber, Beckstrom, and Bate are all seniors and provide great leadership for this team, but you expect players like Aislinn Sharp to step up, step up next year and really fill that void as the count is still one and two on Sharp now after she fouled, fouled that last one back. And the ball outside there as the count is two and two now to Sharp. Sharp had a great game in the opener today, going three for three with a big two-run homer in the fifth. And that is strike three, looking to Sharp, the second strikeout of the inning for the Buffaloes pitcher, Atlin Johnson. And that will end this first inning, but not before the Don score one run on no hits, one runner left on base. And as we head to the second now, one nothing Dons here on SF17. The best time to check your furnace is before it fails, and you can rely on Triple T to do the job right. Our technicians are trained every year so you can sleep better at night, knowing your furnace is safe to operate. Call Triple T at 798-7711 to schedule your tune-up today. Nobody plans on getting in an accident, but if it does happen, you can rely on the expertise of Mike McKell to protect and fight for your rights. Specializing in personal injury law, Mike McKell is the attorney you need. Contact Mike at McKell, Christiansen, and Wise. And welcome back here on SF17 as we head to the top of the second in this elimination game here in the 2018 4A Utah High School State Softball Tournament in a battle of the top two teams in the state of Utah as the Lady Dons face off against the Tooele Buffaloes. The Buffaloes coming into today's game with a record of 26-2-1. Our Dons 
countering with a record of 25 and 2. So 51 wins this year from these two teams combined. And they have been two dominant forces. And it was just a matter of time before they met up in this state tournament. Surprisingly, not in the championship game, but in this elimination game here. As that pitch is strike one to the five hitter on this Twilla Buffaloes lineup, number 17, the first baseman, Emma Jackson. The 0 1 coming now to Emma. And that pitch is up, and that will bring the count to one and one now. And a swing and a miss by Jackson will bring the count to one and two. The Buffaloes winning 8-3 earlier today over the Lehigh Pioneers, as I mentioned, jumping out to a quick 8-1 lead before giving up two runs in the sixth inning and holding on to win 8-3 and seven. And a swing and a miss on the rise ball. And that is the third strikeout today for Jordan Bate. Really seems to have all of her pitches working for her. And that is a leadoff out here in the top of the second for the Buffaloes. Next batter, number nine, catcher Blake Hervat. And the catcher, Blake Hervat, now stepping up to the plate. And she takes a leadoff fastball for strike one. Hervat struggled a little bit in the bottom of the first inning, blocking balls behind the plate, allowing multiple wild pitches, enabling the Dons to be able to move up and eventually score that run. As that pitch is fouled back, bringing the count to 0-2 now on Hervat. The 0-2 pitch now coming to Hervat, and that is a ball upstairs, bringing the count to 1-2 and two now. Hervat on the year in 27 games played is a 359 hitter with 23 hits and 28 RBI, so a great hit to RBI ratio. And that is strike three looking and back-to-back -back Ks here for Jordan Bate here in the top of the second. And much like in the first inning, the first two batters of the inning go down swinging. Four strikeouts now for Bate, and that will bring up the designated player, Jenna Goins. Jenna Gowns, excuse me. And that pitch is up for ball one. The Don's defense, has, defense hasn't had to do too much work today, but I'll take a moment to give you the defensive orientation for today's game. From left to right in the outfield will be Trinity Benson, McKay Condy, and Lindsey Smith out in right field. As that pitch is in there for strike one, now bringing the count to one and one. And on the infield, Mallory Barber at third, Gabby Beckstrom at short. Aislinn Sharp at second, and Amanda Mitchell over at first. As Gowen swings through that to bring the count to one and two. And on the mound for the Lady Dons today, as I've mentioned, Jordan Bate absolutely dominating, and a great backstop of Briley Rudd down there to help hold down the fort as that pitch is up and inside, bringing the count to two and two. And if... Bate continues to pitch like this today. She, may, she might not need much defensive help behind her. Striking out four of the six batters so far, and that is another strikeout as she strikes out the side for her fifth strikeout today in a 1-2-3 inning for the Lady Dons in the top of the second. No runs on no hits, three strikeouts. And as we head now to the bottom of the second, it is one nothing Lady Dons as they come back up to the plate here on SF-17. And... We'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors for today's game as we head now to the bottom half, the Tony Basso Auto Group, Dickerson Automotive, Lance Wilson State Farm, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Mikkel Christiansen Wise, Attorneys at Law, State Farm Lance Wilson, MVP Sports, Sporting Goods for All Seasons, and Two Jacks Pizza. And as we head now to the bottom of the first, Atlin Johnson will look to have a bounce back inning here after giving up one in the bottom of the first inning. And she will deal with the six, seven, eight, and nine hitters for today 
in this Don's lineup in this afternoon game of Lindsey Smith, Murray Condi, Amanda Mitchell, and then Trinity Benson. And as they finish up their warm-up tosses, Lindsey Smith is now stepping into the box and both of these teams fighting to stay alive in this tournament, both winning their first two games before falling in the quarterfinals of the winner's bracket, both bouncing back with wins earlier today to open up games in the loser's bracket with Tooele winning a 8-3 affair over the Lehigh Pioneers and the Lady Dons winning 12-0 over the Desert Hills Thunder in five innings via the run rule as strike one on the fastball there is thrown to Lindsey Smith. And Lindsey fouls that one back, bringing the count to 0 and 2 now. As we, as I mentioned earlier, the Twilla Buffalo's ace on the mound today, Atlin Johnson, has pitched quite well so far as she strikes out Smith on the fastball upstairs for the first out of the inning and her third strikeout of the game. So lots of strikeouts from both pitchers today. Five for Bate through the first two innings of work and four so far excuse me three so far for Adlin Johnson here with one out in the bottom of the second and a leadoff strike to the junior center fielder Murray Condi. Condi up at the plate for her first time in this game today. As that pitch is low, bringing the count even to one and one now on Condi. Condi on the year, a 385 hitter with four home runs and 21 RBIs. And that pitch is low and in the dirt, bringing the count to two and one on Condi. Beautiful day here at Don Andrews Field, home of the Lady Dons, and a very nice crowd for this 12 o'clock elimination game. As that pitch is low and in the dirt, bringing the count to three and one. And Condi has worked herself into a nice count here as she is able to work the walk there on five pitches. And that is a one-out base runner here for the Lady Dons in the bottom of the second inning. The junior Amanda Mitchell, the first baseman, now at the plate for the first time today. Mitchell went two for three in the earlier game today with a single in the first and fourth innings. That pitch is fouled off to the right side for strike one on Mitchell. Nice effort over there by Emma Jackson, the, the Buffalo's first baseman. Diving and getting a little dirty there, trying to catch a foul ball down the first base line, but it lands just on the reach of her outstretched arms. And a bunt attempt there, and a nice play by the pitcher, but she throws it out into right field, and that will allow both runners to move up. A tough play over there as Emma Jackson unable to come up with the ball at first, and that will allow Murray Condi to move all the way over to third, and Mitchell to reach second on the single and the throwing error by the pitcher, Atlin Johnson. And the Dons are now in business here in the bottom of the second. Runners on second and third and only one out. And again, a little bit of sloppy play by the Buffaloes here in the early going, allowing the Dons to get in a good situation here. And that is ball one low to the freshman left fielder. Trinity Benson. Trinity is the only underclassman starting for this Dons team today and has been really the only underclassman to get serious 
legitimate playing time over the course of this season as she takes the strike there, bringing the count to one and one. Really just shows you the confidence that they have in this young freshman. As she squares around to bunt and pulls back before taking strike two. Trinity now in a one-two hole. On the year, Trinity is a 3-12 hitter with five hits and seven runs scored. As she takes that pitch just inside for two and two, the Buffaloes fans and also Atlin Johnson definitely wanted that call, but just a little on the inside to bring the count to two and two now on Benson. And a swing and a miss, a big strikeout there for Atlin Johnson as she is able to keep the runners on second and third as there are two outs now here in the bottom of the second. Second strikeout of the inning for Johnson and fourth strikeout of the game, but Mallory Barber, the leadoff hitter for this Lady Dons lineup now at the plate and a little bit of a tougher out. As that pitch is low and in the dirt to Barber, bringing the count to 1-0. Barber, the senior third baseman for this Lady Dons team, was hit by a pitch to lead off this game, reached second on a wild pitch, and came around to score on a wild pitch and a strikeout. Kind of an interesting situation there, Jordan Bates striking out. And that pitch will drop over the third baseman's head, and everyone will be safe. A big error over there by Peyton Hammond. What looked like a relatively routine flare is able to drop just over her head and Barber will be able to reach first base safely. Condi comes in to score, and Mitchell moves over to third. So first and third now, and another run in to score here as it is 2-0 Lady Dons now in this bottom of the second inning with Gabby Beckstrom, the senior shortstop, now coming to the plate. And a pitch low, bringing the count to 1-0 now on Beckstrom. Beckstrom popped out to the second baseman, Mercy Dereika, back in the bottom of the first inning. As she takes strike one there, bringing the count to one and one. A 562 hitter on the year with 41 hits, 28 RBIs, and a little pop as well with seven home runs as she rips that one out into left center field. And that will score another run for the Lady Dons. And that will be a double. Their throw is coming home. And the ball is dropped. And she is safe at the plate as another run will come in to score. The ball easily getting to Blake Herbot, the catcher, in time. But she is unable to hold on to the ball. And that will allow Mallory Barber to score all the way from first base. A little bit of a a gutsy call by head coach Don Andrews out there as it looked like she was going to be out of the plate easily, but another sloppy play by this Buffalo's team allows Beckstrom to get all the way over to third and two more runs to come in to score for the Lady Dons here as they now lead 4 nothing here in the bottom of the second. And a pitch up stairs to Jordan Bate to lead up the count and bring that one to 1-0 and now. On that last play, both Barber and Mitchell coming in to score. Condi, Mitchell, and Barber. The three to cross the plate so far this inning. Gabby Beckstrom on third as Jordan takes that one outside to bring the count to 1-1 one one now. And Blake Hervat, the catcher for Tooele, going on to try to calm down her pitcher, Atlin Johnson. And the difference in this game has really been the defensive side of things, the play of the catcher. Blake Hervat allowing the run to score on wild pitches and pass balls in the first inning and then unable to apply the tag there allowing another run to come in to score here in the bottom of the second as Bate now has a 1-1 count and three runs already across here and a nice pitch there from Johnson will bring the count to 0-2 now. Bait in a little bit of a hole here. She can find a gap somewhere that'll bring in another run as she fouls that one back. 
pitching very well out there on the mound so far and looking to help out her cause a little bit at the plate as well. A 634 hitter on the year with 19 homers. Good for second most on the team. And that is, excuse me, that is a strike, but it is only strike two. As the count is now one and two. Oh, that is three. They are correcting the situation. I, I thought that was strike three, but they didn't signal that it was the end of the inning until the ump checked his his count there. And after two innings now here on SF-17, it's 4 nothing. Dons over the Buffaloes. And we'll be back in a minute. Welcome to Two Jacks Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world famous cheese sticks, come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? The best time to check your furnace is before it fails, and you can rely on Triple T to do the job right. Our technicians are trained every year so you can sleep better at night, knowing your furnace is safe to operate. Call Triple T at 798-7711 to schedule your tune-up today. And welcome back. And welcome back here on SF17 as the Dons lead 4 nothing now as we head to the top of the third inning. Three runs coming across for the Dons in the inning off of three hits, a single by Mitchell, a single by Barber, and a triple off the bat of Beckstrom. The big blow in the inning allowing two more runs to come around and score. And a absolutely fantastic start for the Dons here in the early going as the Buffaloes now step up to the plate with the 8-9-1 hitters coming up of McKenna Baker, Mercy Derica, and Maddie Baker. McKenna Baker with her first, first plate appearance today as that pitches ball one just outside to Baker. The senior Baker, a 268 hitter on the year. Not a lot of power with zero home runs, but she does have two doubles as she fouls that one back to bring the count even at one and one. Baker with 11 hits and 11 RBIs. So very productive when she does get hits as she drives in an average of a run a hit, which is a very impressive ratio. And the pitch is popped up and the second baseman Aislinn Sharp with the beautiful play over there, ranging over to her right and catching that ball just inside the first base line for the first out of the inning here in the top of the third. Baker did a nice job hitting that there, and it looked like it was going to drop just fair inside the line, but Aislinn Sharp ranged over a good 30 feet there and on the run was able to make the catch for the first out of the inning here in the top of the third. And a Bunt attempt foul off the bat of Mercy Derica, the second baseman for this Buffaloes team. Derica having a very nice day out in the field for the Buffaloes, making a couple nice defensive plays, and now she gets a chance to take her first hacks up at the plate. And a swing and a miss to Derica, bringing the count to 0-2. Jordan Bate, very impressive here in the early going. And her first time through the lineup so far, she has four strikeouts and has only allowed one hit. As that pitch is swung on and missed for the fifth strikeout of the game. And another quick one-two here. Back-to-back -back outs in the third and in every inning, the first two batters have been retired with relative ease. Back in the first inning, Lujan with the only hit today with a single, but other than that, it has been smooth sailing for Bates so far in this one. And a leadoff strike to the shortstop, Maddie Baker. Maddie Baker, one of the many strikeout victims the first time through the order. As I mentioned, five strikeouts so far for Bates. Baker striking out looking to lead off the game as she fouls that one back, bringing the count to... 0-2. Maddie Baker, a 455 hitter on the year. The third best average of the starters on this Tooele team as that pitch is well up and away. That one gets a little bit away from Jordan Beta. She 
smiles a little, realizing how much she let that one getting away. Let that one get away. Bringing the count to one and two now on Baker. And strike three looking on the outside corner. The second strike out of the inning and another quick one, two, three inning for the Lady Dons here in the top of the third. And Jordan Bate is absolutely dealing so far in this one. Six strikeouts, two an inning, and only one hit allowed. As we head now to the bottom of the third, it is four nothing Lady Dons over the Tooele Buffaloes. And we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors for today's game. And the Tony Basso Auto Group, Dickerson Automotive, Lance Wilson State Farm, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Mikkel Christiansen Wise, Attorneys at Law, MVP Sports, and Two Jacks Pizza. And as we head now to the bottom of the third inning, the Lady Dons will be right back on the attack as their junior catcher, Briley Rudd, Steps up to the plate, a very dangerous hitter. 20 home runs already on the year for Rudd. Good to lead the team, just one more than Jordan Bate. And Bate and Rudd have combined 0 for 3 so far in this one, so you'd expect that that would change. Rudd popping up to the second baseman. Back in the bottom of the first inning, she gets a chance to dig in. For her second plate appearance here and here at Don Andrews Field, we have a little nice cloud cover now as the sun has disappeared for the moment, but still an absolutely beautiful day here in this elimination game in the 2018 4A Utah High School State Softball Tournament. Our Lady Don's up 4-0 here in the bottom of the third, scoring one run in the bottom of the first and three runs in the bottom of the second as a leadoff strike is thrown to Rudd there. At Lynn Johnson, really needing a clean inning for the Buffaloes here as our Lady Dons look to extend what is already an impressive 4 nothing lead as that pitch is low and in the dirt to Briley Rudd. As I mentioned a moment ago, Rudd on the year has 20 home runs, but she is not purely a power hitter. She also hits 540, 582 on the year with 39 hits and has... 49 RBIs. The count is now one and two. So looking for her 50th RBI on the year. Currently second most RBIs on the team. Trailing the her fellow senior counterpart Jordan Bate who is not only a menace behind the play, at the plate but has been dominant on the mound today as well as that is a ball low and in the dirt to Rudd. And the 2-2 coming to Rudd here now in the bottom of the third. Nobody out. And she fouls that one back. As the count will now remain 2-2 two two on Rudd. Rudd went one for three earlier today with a double in the fourth inning. As she swings and misses on that for a strikeout. The first out of the inning for the Buffaloes here in the bottom of the third. And six strikeouts now for Atlin Johnson, the ace for this Tooele Buffalo staff. And at the plate now is Aislinn Sharp, the junior second baseman for the Lady Dons, who, like many of her fellow teammates today, struck out in her first plate appearance. That ball is ripped out into left field over the third baseman, Peyton Hammond's head, and that will be a base hit to get the offense going here for the Lady Dons in the bottom of the third, a one out base hit for Aislinn Sharp as Lindsey Smith now steps up to the plate 
Lindsey Smith did not play in the first game today with Jordan Bate playing out in right field with Bate moving over to the mound. In this one, Lindsey Smith moving out to right. And Briley Young, the pitcher in the earlier game today, getting the game off in this one so far as that pitch is low and in the dirt to Lindsey Smith. A strikeout victim back in the second. And that pitch is fouled back, bringing the count even at 1-1. One, one. one out and one coming to Lindsey Smith. Aislinn Sharp is on first base. And a basketball right down the middle there for strike two. Lindsey Smith caught looking as she falls behind in the count here. And a swing and a miss on the changeup outside. And Atlin Johnson is able to get Lindsey Smith to chase as that is the second strikeout of the inning here in the bottom of the third. Johnson has been a master of the strikeout today. Two strikeouts in the first. Striking out the side in the second despite giving up three runs. Three strikeouts dispersed in there and a strikeout to Rudd and Smith with a sharp single in the middle so far of this inning as Murray Condi, the junior center fielder, now steps to the plate and takes strike one before squaring around to bunt here as she falls behind 0-2 now. And again, Aitlin Johnson able to do a good job of getting ahead of another hitter here and get herself in another potential strikeout situation. Murray Condi looking to reach base again, but she swings wildly at a pitch well over her head to strike out to end the inning. And for the second consecutive inning, Atlin Johnson able to strike out the side. And as we head now to the top of the fourth here on SF-17, it is 4-0 Dons over the Buffaloes, and we'll be back in a minute. Wild Mustangs. They're supposed to be one of the most gentle creatures in nature. State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. That's why more people save money by combining their home and auto with State Farm. Call State Farm agent Lance Wilson today. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fort. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. And welcome back here in the top of the four that Don Andrews field here in Spanish Fork. We have a heavyweight matchup between the Spanish Fork Dons and the Tooele Buffaloes in this one as the number one and number two teams in the state are facing off here in this elimination game in the 2018 4A Utah High School State Softball Tournament. And it is Our Lady Dons who have jumped out to a nice early lead here. 4 nothing as we head now to the fourth with one run coming in the bottom of the first. Three more runs coming in the bottom of the second and a little bit of sloppy play hurting the Buffaloes so far in this one. As Jordan Bate continues to deal strikes as Briarly Avina, the center fielder for the Buffaloes, now at the plate, a strikeout victim back in the first. And the changeup drops in there for 0-2 now on Avina as she quickly falls behind 0-2 to Bate. And that ball will be fouled off to the right side. Nice job by Avina battling there to stay alive. And the ball just up and in brings the count to one and two now. This Buffalo's team, 39 home runs on the year coming into today. A 369 batting average. 
and a 487 on base percentage. So definitely a lot of offense as that ball is ripped out to center and a diving catch made out there by Marie Condi. An absolutely spectacular play for the first out of the inning here. And Murray with a great jump on that ball, being able to dive and make the catch for the first out of the inning here in the top of the first. And again, the Buffaloes unable to get the big hit. And again, that ball is flied out to center. This one a much more standard play as again, Murray Condi able to make the quick play here. And that is back to black. Fly balls out to center field for two outs here to start the top of the fourth. And Jordan Bate working quickly here, getting quick outs and no real threat so far today as the first two hitters in every inning have been retired. Only one base runner today coming on the base hit off the bat of Amber Lujan back when the first inning with two outs. Peyton Hammond then hit a fly ball out to left that was just a few feet short of being a two-run homer that could have really shifted the momentum in this game, but instead the Dons have been all over this one and almost an incredible diving catch by Mallory Barber over at third. And that will drop for a foul ball. She had to come a long ways for that one and initially it looked like she was gonna come up with it, but it just squirted out of her glove in the last minute. And that will bring the count to one and one now on Hammond here. And there will be a quick meeting out on the mound from the Lady Don's infielders trying to give Barbara a moment to shake it off after that dive. And Jordan Bates still in good shape here as there are no runners on base with two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. And the Lady Don's already working themselves into a nice four nothing advantage here. And that pitch is popped up over the shortstop Beckstrom's head. And that will drop for a base hit here for the Lady Dons in the top of the fourth inning. The second base hit of the game for the Buffaloes. And the first baseman, Emma Jackson, at the plate now. Part of the first of three consecutive strikeouts back in the top of the second when Bate was absolutely dealing and still the Buffaloes haven't been able to do much off her so far today. And we have a stolen base attempt here and she is thrown out, Hammond easily out stealing. And that is going to be the end of the inning here. And just an absolute rally killer for the Buffaloes as they were finally able to get a base runner and Emma Jackson with not even an opportunity to drive in the run as Hammond is caught stealing to end the inning. And in the top of the fourth inning, there are no runs on one hit. No runners left on base on the caught stealing. And as we head now to the bottom of the fourth, it is 4 nothing, Lady Dons. And we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors for today's game. The Tony Basso Auto Group, Dickerson Automotive, Lance Wilson State Farm, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Mikkel, Christiansen Wise, Attorneys at Law, MVP Sports, Sporting Goods for All Seasons, and Two Jacks Pizza. And as we head now to the bottom of the fourth inning, the Dons will be back at the plate having scored one run in the first inning, three more in the second, the big hit coming off the bat a triple from Gabby Beckstrom, allowing two runs to score. And it looks like we are going to have a delay here due to the dark clouds and rain looming in the forecast. Interesting that they're deciding to stop play, but I'm being told that there is lightning in the area at the moment. And so we will be having a he, we are having a 15 minute delay it looks like both teams heading back to their dugouts right now as the Dons 
are coming up to the plate here with Amanda Mitchell batting first, Trinity Benson, the left freshman left fielder, batting second, and then Mallory Barber, the senior third baseman, will be batting third. But before we get to that point, it looks like we have a little bit of a delay here. Coach Don Andrews, the head coach of Our Lady Don's, out on the field talking with his fellow coaches as both teams have now gone to their respective dugouts. Maybe a little bit of a breather for this Buffalo's team. Hoping to slow down this Spanish Fork Dawn's powerful offense. Like I mentioned a moment ago, it looks like we have some rain coming in the forecast. The sun fell behind the clouds a good 30, 40 minutes ago. And since then, the sun has disappeared and we will have a 15 minute delay. So stay tuned. We are going to take a break here and we will have regular programming until we are back, so stay tuned. So hopefully in the next 15 to 20 minutes, we'll be back in the bottom of the four. That is 4-0, the Don Fleet over the Buffaloes here on SF-17. first Mitchell on third and the batter Gabby Beckstrom will step up to the plate here with two outs and Beckstrom lines that one out into the left center field gap and that will get all the way to the wall and that will be an RBI double this will now be on second and third here Mitchell coming in to score Benson moving around to third Beckstrom with the RBI third run of the inning comes across as Mitchell is able to come in and score, and it is 9-0 now here in the bottom of the fifth with two outs. A meeting out there on the mound by the Tooele Buffaloes as Atlin Johnson has really let things kind of get out of hand here. Fortunately, the rain has stopped falling for the moment. But despite the lack of rain, the conditions on the infield in the outfield grass are very wet and muddy and it is making it difficult for these Twilla Buffaloes infielders to come up with the ball cleanly and make plays on these bunt attempts. Three consecutive batters with bunt with bunts in this inning. Lindsey Smith with the single, McKay Condi with the bunt single and then Amanda Mitchell reaching on the air as Jordan Bate now steps up to the plate and takes strike one. Bate, one for three on the day, but a big two RBI double coming back in the fourth inning, and a base hit here will end this game via the run rule. As she swings and fouls that one back, bringing the count to 0-2 now. The Buffaloes 26-2-1 coming into this game, ranked number two in the state of Utah and a very difficult team to beat. The Dons coming in also with a very impressive record of 25 and 2 after their victory early today earlier today 12 nothing as that pitch is upstairs bringing the count to 1 and 2 now. And that pitch is a ball just upstairs to Jordan Bate. Jordan Bate has pitched a beautiful game for the Dons so far today, allowing no runs in four innings of work. Only allowing three base hits so far, all with two outs, and none of those situations have been threatening as that ball is driven out to left field. And the left fielder is able to haul that one in, Amber Lujan, as runners are left on second and third here in the fifth. The Dons able to add three and extend their lead to nine nothing over the Buffaloes, and we'll be back in a minute here on SF17. Hi, 
Hi, welcome to Two Jacks Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world famous cheese sticks, come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? The best time to check your furnace is before it fails, and you can rely on Triple T to do the job right. Our technicians are trained every year so you can sleep better at night, knowing your furnace is safe to operate. Call Triple T at 798-7711 to schedule your tune-up today. And welcome back here on SF-17, here in the top of the sixth. The Lady Don starting to really pull away in this one. After our rain delay, it was only four nothing. Both the Dons scoring two in the bottom of the fifth, or sorry, two in the bottom of the fourth. Three more in the bottom of the fifth have been able to extend their lead to nine nothing now. As we head to the sixth inning here at Don Andrews Field here in St. George, and the sun is just beginning. Sorry, here in Spanish Fork. Excuse me. We were in St. George for the baseball tournament just yesterday, so. My mind is still there a little bit. And as we head now to the top of the sixth, the batter of record will be Mercy Dreika. Dreika with a strikeout in her only other plate appearance today, back in the third. And that pitch is popped foul over towards us, and that will bring the count to 0-1 now on Dereka. Dereka with a beautiful play over at second base in the last inning, ranging well over to her left into foul territory on the first base side and making a catch in foul territory over her shoulder that helped the Buffaloes get out of that inning. As that pitch is fouled back, bringing the count to 0-2 now on Dereka. Jordan Bait again doing a nice job of working ahead early in the count here and getting these Buffalo's hitters in difficult situations. And that pitch is fouled off to the left hand side over towards us, and that ball will land foul as well. And we have a shortage of softballs at the moment as the umpire goes and tries to find a couple so that we can continue this game as the count is 0-2 after that foul ball three consecutive foul balls off the bat of Dereka all going out of play and the umpire is able to go track down a couple as the count remains 0-2 on Dereka And that ball is popped up to the right-hand side, and it is unable to be caught by Mitchell over at first. And the count will remain 0-2. A nice job by Dereka here, continuing to foul these balls off. As Zareka swings and lines that right off the knee of the pitcher, Jordan Bate. And she comes up limping a little bit. Very dangerous situation here in softball with the pitching circle being so close to the to the plate. And that ball was just an absolute shot right at Bate off her knee as it deflects into right field. That will be a leadoff single for Zareka here in the top of the sixth. And... Spanish Fork, Lady Don's head coach, Don Andrews, and the staff. And with one out here, we have a little bit of a medical situation out there on the mound as Jordan Bate is being attended to, looking at her knee, making sure that she's okay to continue pitching. And Maddie Baker will be 
at the plate next as she continues to jog this one off. The crowd lightly cheering as she jogs back and forth from the mound out into the right field grass. And Jordan Bate looks like she's going to be okay. They might give her a chance to throw a warm-up pitch or two as she absolutely took a shot off the bat there. As the batter there was Kylie Anderson, the pinch hitter, excuse me, Mercy Dreika was pinch hit for there. And Anderson with a nice job of driving that ball up the middle. And Jordan Bate will take a few warm-up throws here to make sure that she is okay. As the coaching staff looks on. And it looks like they are going to let her stay in this game. As the infielders share handshakes out there on the mound and retake their positions. And after a scary moment there, a nice base hit by Anderson. And just glad that Bates... Okay, out there on the mound as the top of the order and Maddie Baker stick, step back into the plate here with a runner on first and nobody out. Next batter, number 16, Maddie Baker. As, maker, as Baker swings on that one and misses. Baker on the year, a 455 hitter with 30 hits and 17 RBIs. As she swings at the fastball up, bringing the count to 0-2. Baker so far in this game has been unable to even put the ball in play against Jordan Bates, striking out looking in both of her plate appearances in the first and third innings. And that ball is ripped out to left center field. And that ball is gone. A two-run homer off the bat of Maddie Baker. And the Tooele Buffaloes have a little bit of life here in the top of the sixth inning. And Baker with an absolute blast out to left field there. Her fifth home run of the season for Baker. Definitely not one of the huge power bats on this team, but did a good job of getting a fastball up and driving that one out to left center field. See you later. It is 9-2 now. The Buffaloes getting on the board here in the sixth. And the batter now will be Briarly Avina. Avina swings through that one for strike one. Next batter number three, Briarly Avina. Avina 0 for 2 on the day with a strikeout and fly out to center field. As she squares around to bunt before pulling back and taking ball one, evening the count up at 1 and 1 here on Avina. Avina, a 3-11 hitter on the year with 19 hits and 23 RBIs. Get to show her hitting prowess yet today as she fouls that one off down the left field line. The Buffaloes dug out, chirping a little bit more now, showing a little bit more energy after scoring these two runs here in the top of the sixth. And that ball is ripped out to left center, and that ball will get over the glove of the left fielder Trinity Benson, and that will be a stand-up double for Briarly Avina here in the top of the sixth as the bats for the Buffaloes are finally waking up here. Number 15, and Amber Luhon, a single back in the first, one for two on the game, now up at the plate. Three consecutive hits for the Buffaloes here in the top of the sixth. What looked like was going to be a snoozer 
after the Dons took a 9-0 lead and had runners on second and third, a hit away from a 10-run rule last inning. The Buffaloes bouncing back nicely here in the top of the sixth. And that is a base hit single up the middle, and another run will come in to score. Amber Lujan with her second single today. And that is three runs now here in the inning for the Buffaloes coming on four consecutive hits. A single for Anderson, a two-run blast out to left center field off the bat of Maddie Baker. And then Avina with the double and scoring on the Lujan single there as the deficit is now cut from nine to nothing to nine to three here in the top of the sixth inning as Don Andrews the head coach for the Lady Dons comes out to the mound now. And he is talking with Jordan Bate. Maybe trying to calm her down a little. And it looks like we will have a pitching change after four consecutive hits. Deciding it's time to make a move here. And it looks like Briley Young will be coming into the game here with Nobody out and a runner on first here in the top of the sixth. On the game, a very solid performance for Jordan Baker, giving up three runs. The runner on first also will be hers. Only three hits allowed before this inning, four coming in this inning, but... Over five plus innings pitch, she gave up three earned runs, allowing seven hits while striking out nine batters. And the new pitcher, Breely Young. Excuse me, Briley Young. Briley Young pitched in the game earlier today and pitched obviously quite well as they won that game 12 to nothing. Pitching five innings of shutout baseball. Briley will be tasked with getting the final six outs likely in this one as she will need three here in the sixth and three more in the seventh for the Dons to be able to stave off elimination for the second time today and advance in the loser's bracket to another one tomorrow after tomorrow morning. And Peyton Hammond at the plate now. Hammond is one for two on the day. Singled back in the third but was caught stealing. Also flied out to left back in the first inning. And a good opportunity for her to keep this rally going as the first pitch in there for strike one to Hammond here. With no outs and a runner on first in the top of the sixth. As that pitch is up and away, bringing the count to one and one now. Cedar City and Bear River playing in the winner's bracket on the field next door to us. The loser of that game playing the winner of this one tomorrow morning. So that pitch is fouled off, bringing the count to one and two now on Hammond. The first game tomorrow will be at 11 a.m. here at Don Andrews Field in Spanish Fork. As that pitch is a ball upstairs and it gets over the head of Briley Rudd, the catcher. So both the pitcher and catcher, Briley. Briley Young on the mound. Briley Rudd behind the plate as the 2-2 pitch now comes to pay in Hammond and a swing and that pitch is fouled back Amber Lujan on second base here three runs already across in the inning nobody out so far and a pitch low and outside for ball three Hammond doing a nice job of working the count here And the coach of the Buffaloes going out to talk to the umpire. 
And it has been resolved. And we will start back up again here with a full count and nobody out. And that pitch is swung on and fouled back as the count remains full. Briley Young in the game, facing her first batter here. As that pitch is grounded over to third base, Mallory Barber looks the runner back and makes the throw over to first base in time for the first out of the inning here in the top of the sixth. Nice play over there by Barber for the first out. And a much needed out for this Dons team here in the top of the sixth. After four consecutive batters had reached base, three runs coming across, and Lujan standing on second. Hammond is retired as there's one out now as the first baseman for the Buffaloes. Emma Jackson now steps to the plate. And the pitch is up and well over Rudd's head. The catcher as she is unable to make the play there as Lujan is able to move over to third again on a wild pitch. A little bit of sloppy play here by the Don, something that we haven't seen from the catcher Rudd as multiple balls have been able to get by here, her here in the sixth. And that pitch is up and away, bringing the count to 0-1 on Jackson now. And again, a pitch well up stars will bring the count even at one and one now on Jackson. Excuse me, the count is three and oh now on Emma Jackson. As that pitch is a fastball right down the middle bringing the count to three and one. Riley Young finally able to throw a strike there after falling behind early and struggling a little bit with control here in the early going in this one. And a swing and a miss on the changeup there brings the count full and a nice job by Young bouncing back here on this hitter. Jackson 0 for 2 on the day with a couple of strikeouts. And that pitch is just outside as Jackson is able to draw a walk here. As Jackson is now on first, Lujan on third, and only one out here with Blake Hervat, the catcher coming up to the plate. Hervat has struggled behind the plate catching today, and also at bat hasn't been too productive as well, striking out in both of her plate appearances as she takes strike one there. Jordan Bate with nine strikeouts today, so no surprise that Lots of these hitters have multiple strikeouts coming in here in the sixth inning. As that pitch is swung on and missed on the fastball upstairs, bringing the count to 0-2. Now on Hervat. Again, Hervat in a tough hitter situation, down 0-2. And a strike three looking on the fastball in the low inside corner right there, and Hervat goes down swinging for the third time today, and that is the second out of the inning here in the top of the sixth, a big out for the Dons. Next batter designated player number four, Jenna Gowans. Jenna Gowans at the plate now with runners on first and third and two outs here as she swings and fouls that one off towards the right side out of play. 0-1 now on Gowans. Jenna has a strikeout back in the second inning and a Single in the fifth, one for two on the day. As she takes strike two on the outside corner. And again, Briley Young able to work ahead of another hitter and get herself in a good pitcher's count here. And that pitch is popped up over to the right side. Aislinn Sharp going back, the right fielder coming in and making the play. A nice play out there to end the inning by Lindsey Smith. And as we head now to the bottom of the sixth, it is 9-2-3. Nice job by Briley Young coming in and getting out of a jam there 
only allowing three runs to come across as our Dons lead 9-3. to three. And as we head now to the bottom of the sixth, we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors for today's game, the Tony Basso Auto Group, Dickerson Automotive, Lance Wilson State Farm, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Mikkel Christiansen and Wise, Attorneys at Law, MVP Sports, Sporting Goods for All Seasons, and Two Jacks Pizza. And in the top of the sixth inning for the Buffaloes, they were able to score three runs on four hits. They did leave two runners on base on first and third, but the first real offensive outburst for the Buffaloes in this game as the Dons will now come back up to the plate looking to get those three runs back. And it will be the junior catcher, Briley Rudd, stepping up to the plate to lead off. Excuse, yes, Briley Rudd stepping up to the plate here to lead off this bottom of the sixth inning. For Spanish Park will be catcher number 10, Briley Rudd. Briley Rudd so far today is 0 for 3. Definitely not something that you normally see from Rudd. Rudd was one for three in the game earlier today against the Thunder. With a big RBI double before Aislinn Sharp hit a massive two-run homer to really break that game open. As that pitch is inside and almost catches Rudd as she is able to move out of the way. Rudd a 582 hitter on the year, only one for six combined over the two games today. As she takes the fastball inside to bring the count to one and one. Rudd was spectacular in the first game of this tournament, hitting two run, two home runs in one inning in an 18-1 win over the King and View Falcons. As that ball was inside, the Dons were able to score 10 runs in that fourth inning against the Falcons and went on to win that game 18-1. to Really set the tone for this tournament. As that pitch will catch the inside corner low for strike two, bringing the count to two and two now on Rudd. That pitch is fouled up over our heads towards the other game over to our left and that will keep the count even at two and two now. And that pitch is popped up over down the left field side. The left fielder coming over and making a nice play there for the first out of the inning here in the top of, in the bottom of the sixth. Amber Lujan coming in. That's one away. Next better. And Rudd is retired 14, for the fourth sharp. time this game. And that will bring up the junior second baseman, Aislin Sharp. Aislinn takes ball one upstairs. Aislinn with the double coming in the last inning as a part of that three-run rally. The Dons were able to extend their lead, but the Buffaloes getting three right back in the top of the sixth. As a swing and a miss from Aislinn Sharp there. Aislinn two for three on the day, like I mentioned a moment ago, a double back in the fifth, a single in the third. She did strike out in her first plate appearance today, but she has been a force to be reckoned with in the box today. As that pitch is outside for ball two. In the first game today, Aislinn was three for three with the home run and scored in all three of her plate appearances. Two for three in this one, so five for six on the day, and she has been the most productive hitter in the Don's lineup in these elimination games today. She has come around to score four times today, once in this game, three in last game, as she takes that ball outside to bring the count to three and two now. 
Nice patient approach by Aislinn at the plate here. As she swings and pops that one fell over on the left hand side and it will land on top of the Buffalo's dugout and bounce out of play as Aislinn continues to battle up there at the plate. Atlin Johnson still continuing to battle out there on the mound as that ball is popped up over on the right hand side the center fielder coming in and a nice play by Briarly Avina for the second out of the inning here in the bottom of the sixth. A fly out to left and a fly out to center to start off this bottom of the sixth and Atlin Johnson has done a good job of bouncing back after two rough innings after the rain delay giving up two runs in the bottom of the fourth, three more in the bottom of the fifth. But two quick outs here in the sixth as Lindsey Smith, the right fielder, now steps up to the plate. And a swing and a miss by Lindsey Smith. Smith with the button single last inning in the time where it seemed like everyone on this Don's team was taking advantage of the muddy conditions and Laying down the bunt as she takes that one low and inside, bringing the count to one and one. Three consecutive batters lead down bunts for hits or they led to errors, and all three runners were able to reach, which led to that big inning where three runs were able to come across and score against the Buffaloes. In the 1-1, one, one, a little fister over to the shortstop, and a nice play over there by Maddie Baker to end the inning. Three up, three down for the Dons in the bottom of the sixth. And as we head now to the seventh, our Lady Dons lead 9-3 over the Buffaloes here on SF17. Wild Mustangs. They're supposed to be one of the most gentle creatures in nature. State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. That's why more people save money by combining their home and auto with State Farm. Call State Farm agent Lance Wilson today. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fort. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. And we are back here on SF17 in this game between the Spanish Fork Dons and the Twilla Buffaloes and our Dons are three outs away from advancing to a big game tomorrow against either Bear River or the other team over there on that field over there in what should be a big game. Cedar City or Bear River playing on the other field over there right now. The Lady Dons playing the loser of that one in the loser's bracket tomorrow at 11 a.m. if they can get three more outs here in the top of the seventh. And Briley Young back out there on the mound for the Lady Dons as she attempts to get these final three outs. Buffaloes, number 12, Teddy Peterson. And Teddy Peterson, the pinch hitter for the Buffaloes here as she fouls that one off to the left field, left hand side. And that is strike two to Peterson. Peterson quickly falling behind 0-2. Getting her first plate appearance today, pinch hitting for the right fielder, McKenna Baker, who was 0-2 previously on the day. Deciding to give somebody else an opportunity to try to spark a rally here in the top of the seventh. And she strikes out on three pitches. And that is the second strikeout of the game for Riley Young. And the first out of the inning for the Lady Dons here in the top of the seventh. Big first out for the Dons as they creep closer. They win today and only three teams will remain from the 16 in this 2018 state tournament as they lead off strike to the Tula hitter at the plate. And that pitch is 
Low for ball one, bringing the count even at one and one. The batter, the pinch hitter, Kaylee Anderson. Anderson pinch hit last inning and had a RBI single. And she has driven one out to left field here in a nice play out there by Trinity Benson for the second out of the inning. As the Dons are now one out away from finishing this one off and winning consecutive elimination games today. Earlier today, a 12 nothing win over the Desert Hills Thunder in a dominant pitching performance by Briley Young, pitching five scoreless innings, only giving up three hits in that one. And they swing and a miss to the leadoff hitter, Maddie Baker, who provided the biggest offensive outburst for this Buffaloes team today. She struck out in her first two plate appearances today, but her one hit was a big two-run homer out to left center field as she fouls that one back, bringing the count to 0-2 now. The second of four consecutive hits last inning for the Buffaloes as they trail 9-3 here in the top of the seventh. Two outs already across, two outs already in the inning as that pitch is low and inside to Baker, bringing the count to one and two now. The Dons a strike away from finishing this one off. And Riley Young has been absolutely impressive in her relief appearance here today and a swing and a miss on the change up there and that will end this one a 9-3 win for the Spanish Fork Lady Dons over the Tooele Buffaloes here at Don Andrews Field in Spanish Fork and we thank you for joining us I'm Elliot Charves and for everyone on our fantastic Spanish Fork crew we thank you for tuning in and we will be back tomorrow afternoon at 11 or tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. for a game between either the Bear River Bears or the or Cedar City so please tune in on SF 17 tomorrow morning for what should be another good one again thanks so much for tuning in it's another Lady Don's winner and we'll see you tomorrow